Hey, I'm glad you made it. In today's video, I'm crafting towards that oh-so-coveted ring of death. What is it, you ask? I've got a wonderful wiki definition for you in just a few short minutes. I show off another rare drop. Some say it's spooned, I say it's skill, but you can be the judge. I have to stew boost in order to create something. Go ahead and pause the video now and place your guess in the comments on how many stews it takes before I get the plus six boost that I need. I temporarily turn to a life of crime. Those safes aren't going to crack themselves, you know. And I also attempt Hellware solo again. Do you think I finally have the DPS? Stay tuned to find out. Hello and welcome. Thank you for tuning in to my gym crafting today. We will be crafting the sapphires. As you can see, I take this chisel that looks like a nail, does not look like a chisel at all, and I cut these gems. Yes, we cut them. We cut them into the beautiful sapphires that they are. What? Stop what? what? How am I being weird? <laughs> My daughter just called me cringy. What? Um, in other news, I just read a post from Mike from Mikey Roo. Um I call him that now because that's what Zoe Pancakes, an avid watcher, she says, <laughs> called him when he when he raided her stream. She called him Mikey Roo. And she's like, I watch your streams all the time. I've just ne never heard you say your name. Okay. Anyways. Mr. Mikey Roo posted a tweet. Or an X, as we call it these days. Jagex is going to be removing Hero Pass. When this one is over on December 3rd, they will not be continuing any more Hero Passes. They've done this to recognize questions it raised that do not reflect their direction for the game. If they pursue a new reward system, it will be built with players and not involve content buffs with membership slash paid disparity. Uh, so, sounds like they're listening a little bit. But we've been down this road before, haven't we, boys? <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. We all make mistakes, Jagex. We all make mistakes. In other news, we have 600 more sapphires to cut into the beautiful gems that they are. After that, we'll move on to the green emeralds. And then my personal favorite, thanks to my birthday in July, the ruby. And so, we are still... Who's this guy thinks he can just make po... Yo, is that Johnny Cage? Bro's super saying Johnny Cage right now. 400 sapphires left. 400 times 50. What's that, 20k? Yeah, 20k XP. We need 40 to level, so... We'll probably get a level off the other gems. That'll be level 70, by the way. We're heading to level 70 crafting. Every level is one level closer to Ring of Death. That's the goal, you know? That's the goal. Ring of Death. What does the Ring of Death do? Uh, if you shall die wearing the Ring of Death, it'll bring you back to life and apply a damage over time bleed. At which point, I would um, teleport away to this place that I'm at now and save myself. Because I only have one life. So the Ring of De Death helps me keep that life. Let's read. I'll read it. <clears throat> if the wearer, me, should die, they will be revived at full health and get the Ring of Death status. This is a damage over time effect that lasts until death or return to a safe area. When this happens, the player receives the message. Your Ring of Death protects you from death, but your life force is being drained. So I already have the defense cape, which if I die right now with the defense cape, it triggers what's called a sign of life, which will like bring me back to life right where I'm at at 50% health. It's like a whoopsies type thing, right? Um, but there are some mechanics in the game that you could get your sign of life taken, like you go to zero, come back to 50% health, and then instantly go to zero again because that's just the way the boss is attacking at that moment and you get messed up. So the Ring of Death is like a second, a second blanket of protection from the actual from me actually dying and losing my life so the sign of life will go off first with my defense cape if that should fail then the ring of death will be my secondary and then that'll give me enough time to teleport away 
So you're scared. Yes. I know I know how I'm gonna die. I'm gonna be wearing my ring of death and I'm gonna think that it's charged. And it'll be at like fourteen point eight percent. And it won't proc. That's that's how I will lose my hardcore life. Here yes. on the Priceless Stream, we believe there is always an opportunity to learn something new. Welcome to another segment of Priceless Tidbits. Have you ever wondered how they get the fortune in the fortune cookies? The cookies are actually baked as flat circles. After they're removed from the oven, slips of paper are folded inside while the cookies are still warm and flexible. And then, as the fortune cookies cool, they harden into shape. And that's how they get the paper inside. Neat. There it is. 70 crafting. I'm quite proud of this. Three more levels, and I can have a ring of death. When's the Asylum Surgeon ring? I don't know. I'll have to check my list. Turns out we're going to camp Ring of Death, so we do not need Asylum Surgeon's ring at all. Dang, pick the lock, boy! Okay. Why? Why did it take that long? Look at my chat. That's wild. Right. Life of crime for me now. Oh, my loot bag is full. BRB. Let's go get a thieving level. Thieving level 72. We got to get it to 90. So we can do player owned ports. So close on the crafting, indeed. Throw penguin points in it. Joke's on you. Already plan to. Twenty seven K. Gosh. Did I send it? I'm gonna send it. This week's penguin points brought to you by Crafting Level seventy three. We're about to boost for Ring of Death, baby. I got a uh scripture of jazz last night off stream. Twenty nine KC. So that's two books, two books down. We're getting 10 XP. We're getting 10 XP per rat that we catch. So all we have to do is catch 65 rats for a hunter level. All right, I'm going to get I'm going to get the plus 6 boost within 5 tries. Mark my words. I'm going to lobby because RuneScape 3 lets you lobby to reset stats. All right, we have 1 minute. Boost. Have you done the quest for plus six? Yes, I've done the quest for plus six. I wouldn't be here trying to get plus six if I hadn't done the quest. I wouldn't I wouldn't be I wouldn't be barehanded touching these rats. Pick them up. Moonwalk, call me MJ, baby. Ooh. <laughs> I think we should just take note that I might actually catch more than 65 rats trying to get this boost. I said 65 rats for a hunter level, and we're getting pretty close. All right, we have we have the stew. Now we shall lobby, log back in, and take a sip. Six 
sip it. That is minus. You're really, you're really grinding my gears here now. Just get the six crafting levels? Bro, I just wasted penguin points on this crafting level. He said, I'm bored of RS3 PVM being easy and boring. I said, have you done 4K Telos? He said, nope, don't care for it. I said, must not be too easy then. Everybody, like, you know there's people out there that's like doing like sub one minute hellware kills and they're like, PVM's easy thanks to necromancy. Like, you're killing hellware, dog. Literally, bros on revel. Exactly. They're, they're using a YouTube search AFK ability bar saying game's easy. I understand that Necro Necro definitely is higher DPS because it's got a 30k max hit. Uh max cap hit cap, whatever. But it doesn't mean the game's easier. It still takes skill. Hey, I got a hunter level. We caught 65 rats, boys. Alright, let's go <laughs> let's go try this again. We're drinking the stew. Hi guys, welcome to the Priceless Stream where we spend three hours getting a boost. Drink the stew for a plus six. Nope. I'm getting a full inventory this time. We'll drink the stew and we'll craft. We got it. Yes. Go on here. Hurry. We don't have a lot of time. The Hydrix Ring has been created. Celebrate. Let's call it our celebration dance. Yes, sir! We have a ring of death! Upon killing a target... I don't care about that. On death, revives you at full health and deals increasing damage to you over time. 100% item charge. Let's go Boston, baby! <laughs> Alright, let's go see if we can solo this thing. In other news, I have also gotten my thieving up to 81 through safe cracking. Uh, we got nine more levels until we unlock player-owned ports. So as I continue to AFK and do stuff such as edit videos, I will continue to train my thieving. All right, let's see if I can solo Hellware. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the auto necro attack. It just made me miss my res. That's the whole reason I don't use Revo. You can turn it off? Bro, I did not know you could turn it off. We are finally able to solo Hellware by ourselves. Uh, so this feels like a great achievement. I've got it sped up here because it is a very long kill. Uh, but you can see I'm learning the rotations of Necromancy. Uh, learning Threads of Fate to kill the wolf. So it's, it's really good. Uh, it's really... It's honestly a really fun combat skill, uh, and I'm excited to continue to level it up and unlock all of those really cool abilities that I keep hearing about. Wait. I was like, what is this? It's a sigil piece. I was like, what's that? <laughs> Telos key? How long did it take me? Seven minutes. Yeah, let's go. That was w much better. Five and a half minutes. That's a that's a minute thirty seven seconds faster. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna unlock the uh, the level seventy gear. We're gonna do that. So we are going to make this ink with all this necroplasm and get these souls. We're we're pushing three thousand souls. Now that's what we're gonna work on. So we will see you next time.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know what you thought. Find me on Twitch at Priceless underscore RS. We'll see you next time.